Hey folks, Wally DM here, and today we're going to take a look at a puzzle that you're going to be able to find in my brand new book, Wally DM's Journal of Puzzle Encounters on to the next. Now this book is set to be released on Drive-Thru RPG in spring of 2024, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and you are ready for those alert notifications. This is going to be amazing. But in the meantime, if you want to pick up the written version of this puzzle, it is available today for download to all of my Patreon members at the $2 level or higher. Now let's get started. This is a puzzle that we're going to call the Heart of the Goblin Lich. So in this puzzle, our characters are going to enter a laboratory and we're going to read them the following. Sconces along the wall cast a dim pale glow over a vast collection of alchemical tools, books, and papers. Positioned atop a sturdy wooden desk in the back of the room is a piece of parchment, an inkwell, a vibrant red gem, and three tiny metal chests. In a darkened corner behind the desk lies a small mysterious skeleton on a canvas cot. So we have introduced our characters to the puzzle room and now it's time for them to explore. There's a number of things that they can take a look at and we're going to start with the desk. As we take a look at this desk, we're going to notice that there is a piece of parchment and on top of this parchment is a heart-shaped red garnet. Now if a dwarf, a character proficient in jeweler's tools, or anyone succeeding on a DC 12 intelligence nature check were to take a look at this red gem, they would be able to identify this as a heart-shaped red garnet worth about 150 gold pieces. Now this red garnet is holding down a piece of parchment that reads as follows. This treasure is a bit different from the rest. Take the heart-shaped red garnet and place it in the chest. Now with that being said, we have three metal chests on top of the desk. Each of these chests have a brass key that is sticking out of it so it can be opened and they are nearly identical except for the following. They each have a symbol that's painted on the chest. A flame, a snowflake, and a lightning bolt. Now if our characters were to come to the back of the room and take a look at the skeleton, they're going to be able to determine with a DC 10 intelligence medicine check that this is a skeleton of a goblin. Now this skeleton is not undead and all of its bones seems to be in their proper place. If our characters were to search the rest of the room, this is an extensive library of books and shelves and it's going to take at least 20 minutes for them to do a thorough search. After 20 minutes of searching, the characters can make a DC 12 wisdom perception check and on a success, it's going to lead to the discovery of numerous books on self-resurrection along with a few volumes on phylacteries and a half-written non-magical scroll for the magic jar spell. Within these tomes are scribbles, notes, and incomplete scientific formulas written in Goblin. So the characters have finished exploring the laboratory. Giving all the information that they have uncovered, do you know how to solve the puzzle? I'll give you a second if you'd like to figure it out. Did you get it? Great! Let's go over the answer. Before I give the best case scenario on the outcome of this puzzle, I do want to say there's a couple of hints that the characters could get. The first one, we could allow the characters a DC 12 intelligence history check, and on a success that they're going to recall that a red garnet symbolizes the heart. It embodies themes of healing, life, blood, and life force. The second hint that we can give is through a detect magic spell. If a character were to cast detect magic, then they're going to be able to see a faint aura of necromancy around the heart-shaped red garnet, and each of these three metal box, the one with the flame, the snowflake, and the lightning bolt, all radiate an aura of evocation magic. Now, if the characters were to open this box that has the flame on the outside of it, as soon as they open it, they're going to need to succeed on a DC 16 dexterity saving throw, or they're going to take 3d6 of fire damage, or half as much on a success, because when they open it, this is actually trapped, and a burst of flame is going to come out and affect everybody within 5 feet. And in fact, if they were to open the chest with the snowflake or the lightning bolt, they're going to get the same results, but with a different type of damage. If they open the one with the snowflake, it's going to be a 5 foot radius of cold. And if they open the one with the lightning bolt, it's going to be a 5 foot radius of lightning damage. Now, if the characters wanted to search these metal boxes for traps, there's no mechanical traps, but there are magical traps. So anyone that succeeds on a DC 14 intelligence arcana check is going to be able to find this magical trap and in order to disarm it they're either going to need to cast this spell magic or they're going to need a dc 18 intelligence arcana check and on a failure the box is going to pop open and release a trap 
But this still doesn't solve our puzzle. If all three of these chests on the table are traps, where do we put this red garnet? Again, this treasure is a bit different from the rest. Take the heart-shaped red garnet and place it in the chest. Well, the actual answer is to place it into the chest of the skeleton. So let's say our kobold takes this heart-shaped gem and puts it into the rib cage of the skeleton. This is going to take hold. The magic is going to be released from the gem and this skeleton is going to come to life. It's going to be an animated undead goblin skeleton. And in fact, it's going to be a friend or an ally of whoever brought it to life. This red heart-shaped gem is actually a phylactery or a vessel for some type of undead entity. That's totally up to you as to how you want that to take hold in your game but the way that i ran this puzzle is it appears to be this goblin skeleton that is an ally of the party and it's and it's beginning to learn but in all actuality if you're in my Fandelver campaign, you might want to stop the video. So I ran this puzzle with my Tuesday night group and it worked out perfectly. They solved it with no problem whatsoever. And my friend Forek, his character was a kobold at the time, long story, but was able to revive this goblin skeleton. And the goblin skeleton doesn't talk, but it understands what's going on and didn't really have any answers to questions, just shrugged the shoulders. So now this goblin skeleton of the campaign is an ally, a really good friend of, of Felric's character, and he calls him Shrugs. He just shrugs around. But it is starting to develop into something a lot of fun because Shrugs is starting to cast some higher level spells. We've seen Dispel Magic, we've seen Disguise Self, and we've seen some Fire Bolts, so... Who knows? <laughs> But in all actuality, the gem is a phylactery for a lich. So if the skeleton is destroyed, the gem can be placed into the bones of another skeleton. Although this lich is actually used to be a goblin wizard, so he prefers to be in the skeleton of smaller humanoids. Now, of course, if you don't want an animated skeleton or an animated lich joining your party, then perhaps there's a few other ways you run the puzzle. Instead, we could just give them a big treasure. They put this red garnet into the chest of the skeleton, and then it grows 10 times its size, and they're able to walk away with a very valuable ruby. Or maybe the skeleton does animate, and once the skeleton is animated, it comes over to a section of the wall and it reveals a secret passage that the characters can go through. But that was all that this skeleton was intended for. So once that's done, it's going to shatter to the ground. The characters can pick up the garnet and get their 150 gold pieces with. That's a few of the ideas that I had for this puzzle. Be sure to let me know what you would do in your game in the comment section below. So as a reminder, if you are a member of my Patreon at the $2 level or higher, you can download this puzzle today over on Patreon. And thank you so much for your support. Now that's all I have for you today. What did you think of this puzzle? Is it something that you would run in your game? And if so, what would you do differently? Be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you're thinking. Thank you very much for watching and on to the next.